live from Scotia Bank Arena. Live from last week, episode 48. Let's go! Welcome you my fellow Jay Walkers to another episode of Laugh From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this evening on Tuesday night, I'm meeting up with one of my beach volleyball friends, Jason. And he's taking me out to guess what? A Leaf game. My first Leaf game ever. So yeah, thanks again in advance Jason. And I'll see you in a couple of seconds at the arena in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Man, reflecting on it, last night was pretty fun. And it was also wrapped up with me and Jason catching the end of the first half of the Canada versus Mexico soccer match. Where Kyle Laren scored not just one goal, but two goals. Then I was able to take the GO train to catch the second half back at home. And witness the Canadian men's national soccer team pull out this historic 2-1 victory over Mexico in Edmonton. And yeah, earlier today, when I drove back to my hometown to visit my parents, Tita Mone and I found out, while we were looking at some packaging, that we have our own brand name lemongrass. This is lemongrass. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, personalized. Personalized. I also got to check up on Tito Eddy, who said he's feeling better every single day. And after hearing some better news about his health, I decided to take my family out for some Vietnamese food. And if you guys have heard of this place, Pho Vietnam 999 in Oshawa, you guys would know that this place is amazing for their service and their food. But if you haven't been here and live close by, I would definitely recommend this restaurant to anybody. And after dinner, I decided to go over to the Oshawa Center for the first time in over 15 years. And boy, while I was walking around there, I felt totally lost. Mainly because I haven't visited this mall since it had its renovations in the early 2000s. But yeah, after feeling confused, I finally made my way home so I could do a birthday greeting for you guys today. And this birthday greeting goes out to one of my friends in Mississauga, Charlene. Happy birthday, Char. I remember going and visiting Europe with you back in 2011 during our World Youth Day trip as well as randomly running into you in square one a couple of times in the past. Anyway, Char, hope you're doing well, stay safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. So after getting a decent sleep last night, then waking up early to drive the fiance in the dark to her day shift this morning, today was pretty much a rest day full of naps and editing live from last week videos, cause tonight I'll be going in for my first of my four night shifts. With the catch being, it will be six shifts in seven days. So unfortunately, I won't have much Laugh From Last Week content for you guys to check out this week. But I'll try my best to keep you guys entertained. So yeah, moving on. We got a birthday greeting for my nephew. And this birthday greeting goes out to Mekai. Happy birthday, Mac. I'm remembering the times that we went to Disneyland and the West Coast on that trip a couple years back. As well as riding the Guardians of the Galaxy ride with you. And by the way, I still have the magnet from your first birthday. What was this? 15 years ago? What the heck? Meaning that this guy's like 16 now. But yeah, anyways, Mac, hope to see you soon. Hope you're growing out your hair as well. Say hi to Ray and Vita for me. I hope you have a great birthday and I hope to see you out on the beach sometime soon. 
So taking it back to yesterday, when I mentioned about my nephew's long locks and long hair, I just remembered something. That on Monday, I have a haircut appointment with my cousin Andoy. Meaning, by the end of this episode, my long luscious locks will be gone. So stay tuned for that, guys. Anyways, before I go in for my second of my four night shifts tonight, we just got a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with a birthday greeting to Andrea. Happy birthday, Andrea. I'm remembering this girl being a standout athlete in basketball and soccer back in the day. Representing Mother Teresa with those classic Adidas MT Magic jerseys. Anyways, Andrea, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. My next birthday greeting of the day goes out to one of my childhood friends, Clayton. Happy birthday, Clay. I'm remembering this guy also being a standout striker in House League. And our times after school practicing skateboarding and learning a few tricks from you. Anyways, Clay, hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday as well. And last but not least, I have a big birthday greeting to one of my childhood best friends, Shauna C. Happy birthday, Justin. Man, this guy was literally a friend of mine since birth. Always hanging out with him living across the street and playing video games. And remember that time where you took that 2x4 and you hit that scary spider out of my driveway. Man, there are just too many memories to remember with you. But yeah, bro, hope you are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. A meetup is definitely overdue, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Guys, after a busy night shift last night, I drove straight home to Scarborough, picked up the fiance, then drove her to Mississauga so that she can make her dentist appointment at 11 a.m. this morning. And by the way, since I didn't have any time to eat, we did stop by a local Tim Hortons to get some breakfast in this belly. Then I went to her parents' place to pass out for the next couple of hours. And now I'm just chilling in Mississauga, editing some video for live from last week before I go in for my third of my four night shifts tonight. So yeah, wish me luck yet again, guys, because last night's night shift was hella busy. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. And I'll just see you guys tomorrow. So guys, after yet another busy night shift, which actually began as a 70 minute commute from Saga instead of a 40 minute commute, being the chef in charge, one sick call for the night and three sick calls for the day, dealing with moving several patients in the middle of the night because we have to make room for electrical construction by the end of the weekend, several IV sites going interstitial, difficult blood work, and a patient that discharged himself from the hospital in the middle of the night, leaving against medical advice, I needed something to brighten up my day after leaving work this morning. Luckily, in the parking garage, there was something to cheer me up when I saw that there was another Mini parked beside my Mini. And the fact that tonight I'm going in for my last of my four night shifts got me excited because I only have one more shift until I have one day off. So for now, I'm going to be singing one more night. But it was a bittersweet morning. Mainly because I realized when I got into the shower post night shift, I figured out that since I have a haircut appointment with my cousin Android tomorrow morning, it will probably be the last time I'll be shampooing and conditioning my long hair. So to be honest guys, I did take some time to grieve about my long hair in the shower earlier today. But yeah, for now, it's off to my night shift for my last shift with my long hair. And I'll just see you guys after my night shift at Andoy's tomorrow morning. So after night shift and before going to Andoy's for my new life-changing haircut, we went to get breakfast in the Mini's first Burger King drive through experience. We ate our meal in a local parking lot while we waited for the master barber to wake up, then made our way to Andoy's condo to get my first haircut from him in more than 12 years. Long time we'll see.
So yeah, the end result was this baby. But yeah, without my usual post night shift nap, I took the fiance on a drive to Mississauga for her teeth bleaching appointment around noontime, then made my way to square one to go to a local jewelry store to pick up a special surprise for the fiance. A gift that I'm going to give to her for her wedding day. Afterwards, I went to take a quick nap later in the car at a parking lot while waiting to pick up the fiance from the dentist. Then, compared to a previous visit a couple weeks back, I took a quick peek of the new updates and renovations at the fiance's parents' kitchen. And got to watch one of my favorite all-time classic movies, Space Jam, this evening for the first time in more than 20 years. So yeah, before I wrap up for the night, I just have a couple birthday greetings for you guys with this fresh new haircut. First, we have a happy birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends, Nathaniel. Happy birthday, Nathan. I'm remembering playing basketball and soccer with you back in high school. With you having amazing vision and leadership skills. And although you weren't the biggest player in terms of size, you would always be the one to play with the biggest heart. But yeah, Nathan, it's been a while. Hope you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And now to the second birthday greeting of the day, which goes out to one of my cousins, Chloe. Happy birthday, Chloe. I'm remembering back in the day when you used to play with Nika at your place at Pluto Drive, as well as you making unique catchphrases such as level 11. Anyways, Chloe, hope you are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you also had a great birthday this year. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.